We're going straight into it. Later finals, we got Quote on Robin, we got Muse on Toon Link. There's gonna be a ton of projectiles flying everywhere, so fast in those seatbelts as fast as it is. We get into this. Um, although, right after that, you know, they're both kind of finding, they both found the one opening and got a little bit of damage off of it, but since about even. I feel like Muse is being a little more aggressive and Rob is kind of, uh, Quote is kind of staying in the field. with a new look at how full it is. That is into his own bomb with race. Alright. Ooh, that's not gonna do it. We'll get the eye by quote. The spin coming out. I don't think Muse expected that. I don't know if Quote meant to do that, but well, he kind of stayed with it a little bit. But Muse kind of came back down a few seconds later to kill them. But um, Muse getting some damage going. Quote trying to find a kill. Quote's like his first dog. Devis is not particularly too bad. It's just a matter of how much damage it takes before you close this stock out. Because everything is still honestly really comfortably doable right now for Quote. But the longer he takes, the less true that state becomes. But right now it sounds like it might be a little bit of a climb. Sometimes not quite doing it. That one is That's gonna be use holding on to that stock. For dear life, and two stocks to close in the process, taking game one. Who will our star be tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Uh, the game two quote going back to Smashville. Quote gonna find up smash, reading the tech roll in off the ledge, and uh, this time it's he who takes the first dog, and he's getting his damage built up a little bit. But it was going a lot closer than it ended up going. Um, right. Quote being like a completely different person in this game. Whereas last game he couldn't really get the post stock closed out. This time he's closed out the post stock and almost lapped him for in the process. Um, this could very well be a two stock of his own. Although Muse fighting hard did not let that happen. Throwing projectiles, he was there everywhere. Ooh, but the back is gonna come out. Throwing the top out. I think he tried to like short hop off against the dead spike, but maybe he short hop by accident. I don't know. That's a wrap. 
can anybody stop this fighting machine? Whoa. Taking that game himself. 1-1. One, one. Trying to give us a good set to watch. Who will our star be tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Alright, yep, still coming out. Out for a little bit. Um, looks uh, pretty even so far. Unlike the last two games, no one's really running away with it. Well, actually, I guess no one really ran away with the last two games until the first stock was taken. But point is, it's looking super close so far. Ooh, he's coming down with the Renegade down there. Slow dancing a little bit. Neutral is going to get. You know, spaced around, but then Ford is going to close it out. Um, Boat coming down with an up air. Not quite taking it. That one is going to. Yeah, so as I initially said before I kind of doubted myself, neither player really winning the wave in this game. Really close overall. Past two games are kind of like a decisive two stock one way or the other. This one just straight even for the Ford. Okay, so I just know something. I don't want to say this too loudly. Isn't Cloud versus Drop a really bad matchup? In theory, couldn't this like turn into a counter big war? With um, you killing Cumin versus Pikachu and uh, Cloud versus the Rod and then Vice Hosa forcing both to take us off of that matchup? That's a wrap! Uh, I don't remember. I feel like that could happen. I don't know if he uses that kind of play. He could very well even just switch to Cloud because he's not feeling the tank anymore. Who knows? But right now he's going to have to change something up. Oh, I guess he's going to have to change something up, whether it's in the game or just men mentally. Because um, right now, you know, quote on set point, potentially advancing to the winner's side of Grand Finals. Kogan from, comes down with the down uh, again. Alright, this 
despite what was looking like a really big uh, percent deficit for Muse, he does manage to close that first knockout. And now he's getting some good damage. 24% already on quote. I feel like the story of this set so far has been um, quote just struggling to kill Muse. And like even with that uh, top he got off the stage, it still didn't quite kill. The top bouncing um, to Maginda about to use into quote, but he's not ready to capitalize off of it. Get pretty late, so not much of a surprise there. Um, Alright, so a little bit of a deficit, about 50, 50, 70, yeah, 70 percent uh, difference right now. Muse not connecting that forward and giving Quote a second chance at life. Dreadcloud is still flying everywhere, making it harder for either player, either player to connect off of the opening as they're getting hit by a projectile of the opponents. So that up here is going to go ahead and do it. We're going to game That's five. Can anybody stop this fighting machine? Starby tonight. I'm getting really tired. Someone hop on commentary with me, please. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Maybe. Or, oh, you know what? No, it's probably because he's been struggling to actually close out stocks plus Muse. Probably trying to hope the explosive blast zones can help him a little bit. Would be my guess. Um, Kind of grim for a hero, but you know, 82% on Muse doesn't seem too far fetched to actually close out a stock. In hindsight, the um, up throw up air 50 50 probably doesn't work. Okay, well, I lied, it definitely looks like it worked right there. The bomb just kind of saved a little bit. Finds a down smash, not quite gonna kill. Throwing the top, ooh, and he gets it. Trying to get the dead spike, but he's not timing it correctly. And even on Dreamland, Muse is still living to like 150. Clean. Close, just can't seem to figure out how to close these stocks, and that's definitely been the X factor in these games. Up throw is going to do it. Wispy almost coming in clutch for Muse, blowing them both off stage, but quote, 
surviving. Use not. Got the beast. And, you know, notable but not insurmountable deficit between them. Although Muse making said deficit climb a little higher. Kind of trying to set up the walls. Um, although Mew's actually a lot more aggressive with his wall, he's more trying to uh, force an option out of Quote by throwing the projectile and then punishing the option. Quote picking the shield and getting out okay for the most part. Mew's almost dying from that up air. Um, the thing about this matchup, probably could have mentioned this a little sooner, is both of Quote's projectiles. Like, aren't just kind of free to use. The laser is charged at other time, similar to Wally's walk. And the um, top is a manual, manual charge. So you can't just kind of spam projectiles like this. Ooh, he falls to the nooch. Who in the up air is? Not doing it. Mew's still living really good DI. Dreamlight not quite coming in quite as much as. Mm, that could have been as well. Mew's looking like an escape artist right now with how much of these. Kill set up he's surviving and that fort is not gonna do it. But Quote with a bomb in his hand throws it, does not want that to blow up on him. Um finds up there and that is gonna do it. That's a wrap! That was starting to look really tense with Quote, but he manages to find the up air amidst the darkness and closes it out. 3-2 advancing to winners finals. Uh grand finals. You didn't hear that.